Hi, I'm Marsh from Carp School and I'm going to show you how to properly do a loop-to-loop -loop connection. Joining two bits of line together using a loop-to-loop -loop connection um, is, is really, really incredibly strong. Um, as long as the knots you've used to create the loop, i.e. this one here and here, are good strong knots, then, um, then actually joining these two together is a great way of doing it. You can use it as a quick change system for leaders onto main lines. There's all sorts of applications in carp fishing. But uh, I just want to show you the best way of doing this. If you take one of the loops, doesn't really matter which, and pass it through the other, and then take the tag end, this might have a hook on or anything else, and pass it on through, you can get these two loops to sit down together like so. Now that is called a square knot. It's incredibly strong. In fact, it doesn't reduce the breaking strain of the line whatsoever. And that's, uh, that's the square knot. I see a lot of anglers making the mistake of allowing it to sit down like so. And that's called a girth hitch. And that will reduce the breaking strain dramatically one of the lines will cut into the other. Um, so it really is worthwhile making sure that both lines sit down like so, wet them and pull them down tight. That is a good loop-to-loop -loop connection with 100% knot strength. 